Hey there folks, Scottsdale Travel Chick Sidekick here to tell you about our adventure to Rio Secreto, or the Secret River in English, just south of Playa del Carmen. It's an awesome experience and one of the top attractions along the Riviera Maya. So, what exactly is Rio Secreto, you might ask? Well, it's a nature park centered around a natural underground cave system, much of it an underground river of sorts. Getting there. The standard packages don't include transportation, but you can add it as an extra charge if you'd like. However, if you have a car, it's an easy 15 minute drive from Playa del Carmen or a short 300 peso taxi ride. From Cancun, it's a longer one and a half hour drive, and for that, you definitely need a car, or better yet, just include the transportation into the package you book. Speaking about those packages, Let's talk about the options you have to choose from. They have six different options to choose from, and you can check their website for more details, but most people choose either the Classic or the Plus Tour. The Classic Tour starts at $79 for an hour and a half tour through a wet cave. That means you'll be walking and swimming through water underground. All right, babe, so what are we doing today? We are going outside my comfort zone, is what we're doing. So, uh, we are here at Rio Cerrito. This is um, outside Playa del Carmen. And we are going to be swimming through a cave. And we are going to be doing some biking. And we're going to be doing some repelling down a wall or a cliff or something. So, definitely outside my comfort Anything else? Oh, Seeing some spiders maybe or something? Oh, no, no spiders. Yeah. The tour includes wetsuits, helmets with lights, towels, and a buffet lunch. We did their second level tour, or the plus tour, which also includes a bike ride through the jungle to do rappelling, a tour through the drive cave, and what they call the Salon de la Paz experience, which is an underground light and sound show in the dry cave. This adds another 20 bucks to the package. In our assessment, it's probably worth it. Finally, just an important note here before we get going. You are not allowed to take any type of camera with you on the water cave portion of the tour. I was kind of pissed about this, but once you do it, you'll realize why this makes sense. There is a professional photographer which goes with your group the whole time. These pictures are then available for purchase at the end of the tour. Some of the pictures you see throughout this video and right here are from the photographer picture set will cost you a hundred bucks which is pretty steep so look closely at what they've taken for you they don't take any video and they tend to get people in the background of your shot so you'll have to decide if it's worth it for you or not the tour itself starts off by meeting at an intro area where you'll sign some papers watch an intro video and wait for your group to come together once everyone's ready to go you'll board a minibus where they'll take you down a long dirt road to the place where all the action actually takes place. Well, if you're first coming in, you'll walk in on your own and you'll go up to the ticket booth, give them your own number and they'll give you a thing like this that tells you you're ready for your tour. And then you'll walk back to the visitor center and wait for them to get the group going. It's a small group tour, 10 people or less. The order of the tour sometimes varies, but in our case, we did the dry cave first, then rode bikes through the jungle to do the rappelling. Then we did the wet cave last, and finally the lunch. First up, the dry cave. You'll walk through the jungle and then down a long set of stairs into the darkness. Some parts of the cave were really dark, and other parts they have lit up with colorful lights. The guide stops a few times to tell you a little bit about things, but honestly, 
this was one of the areas where they can improve by giving you more information about the cave system. Overall though, the dry cave was really pretty cool and we were already excited to see what the wet cave was going to be like later. So now we're going into the dry cave. This one I can video, the wet one we're gonna make, they're gonna make us put my phone away. Since I could take my camera into this cave, here's a few more pictures. Okay, babe, what did you just do there? How was that? We just walked through a dry cave. It's beautiful in there. Would definitely do that again. Next up was the bike ride to the rappelling location. The bike ride was nothing special and the bikes themselves were pretty beat up. So pro tip, make sure to check both the tire pressure and your brakes on the bike before you take it out. The rappelling portion was really fun. It was only one session, but it's a great experience as you drop through a small hole in the surface down into a sizable cave underground. Scottsdale Travel Chick had never done repelling before, so this was a first for her. All right, babe, where are we going now? So we are getting on bikes, and it's about two and a half miles. And we're going to go repelling through the jungle, is what he said. Okay. It's excited. It's a pretty sexy hat you got there. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Let me see if it's... <clears throat> Can I knock any sense into you? Oh, you're funny. Okay, babe, you're up. You're up next. You ready? Yes, I'm All ready. All right, let's go. Let's see what you got. You're right-handed. I'm right-handed. You come a little closer. Let me give you the point. Oh, I'm right-handed. Left-handed at the level of your face. Right-handed. Yep. When you're ready, take your knee. Take your knee. Okay. I think so. Like this. Okay. Just so right. Finally, we get to the wet cave. For this, they first give you a wetsuit, helmet, and vest, and you have to change and put all your belongings into lockers. Then it's a brief walk to enter into the underground cave. As I mentioned previously, we couldn't take any cameras with us on this section, so all we have here are the pictures from the Rio Secreto photographer. 
I really wish we were able to get some type of video as the wet cave is certainly the highlight of this entire tour. It's over an hour of walking, floating, and swimming through the cave, with some parts going through small passageways and others floating in water where you can't touch the ground. Again, it would be good for the guides to provide more information on the cave system, but even without that, this was really an awesome experience not to be missed. It's worth all the money just for this. Once you finish with all that great caving, it's off to lunch. Unfortunately, I must say this is another weak point. I guess you're not going on this tour for the food, but the buffet was really poor. Maybe it was because of COVID time, I don't know. Perhaps the only good thing about lunch was the group shot you do before you sit down. So, is it worth it? The short answer is a resounding yes. The bikes are pretty bad and the buffet lunch leaves a lot to be desired but you don't take this trip for those details. The primary attraction are the caves, and the tour through the wet cave was incredible. Most would say this is a once in a lifetime experience. We would definitely recommend you give this one a try when you come to the Yucatan area. Until next time, see you later.